Hey, welcome back friends. This week I'd like to walk you through how I made this frame for a straw bale garden bed as you see here. Of course it's entirely made from pallets of this kind here. You see they're really easy to disassemble. Ta-da, ta-da, done. Okay, that was really a little bit too fast, right? So I'm a risk losing your attention by showing it in real time. It does take less than a minute to take one of these apart. These are disposable pallets, which a printing house in my town is happy to give away once they don't need them anymore. There's quite a lot of those one-use throwaway kind of pallets going around. I think it's worthwhile to keep your eye your eyes open for those. They're easier to take apart than the expensive ones. Now you see the first six boards go, go off really easily because they're attached with air gun nails only. The pretty small ones of that. Now for the rest I use this leverage technique here. And I won't bother taking apart the last two pieces. You see, like the one I have in my hand right there to use. Because that's just way too much work for, for only through two boards that would come out of that. There, that's how it's done. Now to start work proper. We have a ratchet strap, universally useful thing, a bunch of boards and a battery powered drill because we're off grid here and a bucket of screws of course. Now all the boards I have are 60 centimeters long so in order to get the sides of the frame at least somewhat sturdy and needed to find a way to make something rigid of 120 centimeters in length, which is the added length of the sides uh, of the bales, coincidentally, out of these uh, shorter boards. And this is the way I came up with screwing them together in an angular fashion like that allows the screws to grip to a whole lot more wood than if I had just laid them flat onto each other. And since you see those form the bottom side of the frame, it doesn't matter if there's a flat board going under the bales. The corner posts make use of a similar construction here. Two boards screwed onto each other at a right angle like this here. Now you might be wondering, why isn't he building the frame before he installs the beds? And that's a very good question to ask. I should be actually and next year I will if this whole experiment turns out fruitful and I decide to make straw bale beds again. In this case I got the bales first, um, educated myself on straw bale gardening here on YouTube and later on when the bales were already soaked with water and heavy and difficult to move I decided it would be smart to fill that hole in the middle of this ring shape with soil to get additional planting space and that I thought would work better if I got the whole affair somewhat tied together. Now you see me here attaching the first of these corner posts to two side pieces. And I did so on the opposing side as well, so only on two of the four corners and then laid the ratchet strap around the whole thing. Pulling that tight gradually allowed me to push the remaining pieces together bit by bit so I would get a proper fit. Let's see here. There's one side piece that's attached already and the other one isn't the one on the left. You can see it move in there. Once it's tight, I attach it with a screw and another screw just to make sure. Now once that's done on all four corners, I can remove the strap and this is how the thing looks now. Now it just needs one more ring of boards to go around the sides. Because of that aforementioned problem of only having 60 cm boards here, the middle parts of the sides do turn out a bit wonky. After attaching the sides, as you see here, this problem needs to be addressed of course. And since it's not a beauty contest for furniture, but agricultural necessities that we're working out here. I just screwed another board to the side. There. I have this pile of soil lying around because we dug that pond last year to have watering water for the garden. Because 
this place is, as I mentioned, off-grid in terms of electricity and water. So everything has to be provided for in place. It's going to be going to be interesting, really. That hole in the middle here took one and a half wheelbarrows full of soil, which is decidedly more than I expected. Here's how the whole thing turned out. Now these bales are watered and fertilized and hopefully we can grow some tasty veggies in them. See you around. <laughs>